Welcome to another episode of Raoul's World of Sense. Today I'll be giving you a brief overview of the Dofer A166 logic module here in the center. Its primary function is to take logic signals such as gates, triggers, or clocks, and then generate voltages based on the signals received at the three inputs over here on the left. This might seem similar to the process of mixing signals, but it is a little bit different. In the process of mixing, the input signal passes through the signal chain to the output. So if a speaking voice goes in, a speaking voice will come out, possibly at a different level. If a guitar goes in, then a guitar will come out. But here the signals are sort of being compared uh, and or analyzed by the internal logic circuit compared to the truth table that is part of the circuit and then an output is generated over here on the right. The signal output will only have one of two values, either low or high. So it'll look just like a rectangle wave uh, in the high position or in the low position. The low signal in digital logic is referred to as zero. A high signal in digital logic is referred to as the number one. So let's see what a truth table looks like for this circuit. This can act as a reference to the function of the A166 logic module. If you've seen the manual for the A166, this may look familiar. You could go through and analyze it column by column, row by row, comparing high, low voltages, but it might take a while depending on your understanding of the terms over on the right, and, or, and XOR. So let's break this down piece by piece. We'll start with the AND function. Starting with the first row, if all three gates are low, then the AND output will be low, or zero. If input one and two are low, and three is high, then your output is low. You should see a pattern emerging by examining the AND column. In all cases, the AND output will be low unless all three inputs are high. The LED on the panel will let you know when this occurs, right here. Now let's see the OR version of the truth table. You can see right away that if all inputs are low, then your OR output is low. But if input 1 and 2 are low, and 3 is high, then your output is high. In fact, this pattern continues so that when any input is high, your OR output is high. Again, you'll use your LED on the front panel as your guide. Now let's look at the final output, the XOR output, on the truth table. This is also referred to as the exclusive OR gate. While this pattern is similar to the OR, there's a slight twist in its logic. When all three inputs are low, your XOR output is low, just like the OR example. When inputs 1 and 2 are low, and 3 is high, the output is high. You can see that the XOR output is high in almost every case except for when all the inputs are low or all the inputs are high. So there's your twist. Let's see the values together for both OR and XOR. From this you can see that the values at the outputs are identical except for the case when all inputs are high. If you're new to this, you may need to go over the truth table a few times or experiment with a few basic patches to get a feel for it. I myself had to read through this material several times before it really sunk in. I can't promise that you'll be thinking in terms of AND, OR, or XOR, but it's good information to know since the outcome of all this digital logic information will allow you to create more sophisticated rhythms, gated clocks, polyrhythms, and so forth using the A166. But what if you don't have three inputs to contribute in this module over here? 
Well, another cool feature of the A166 is that these inputs over here are normaled, meaning whatever is plugged in one continues down the chain until another cable is plugged in. This means you can use this module as a two input logic module or a three input logic module. If you can digest the information about this section here at the top, then the second section should come right away because they're identical, as you can see here. At the bottom of the A166 logic module, you can see that you have two inverters right here. That's what this symbol here in the center represents. These can be used as stated in the DOFR A166 manual to achieve the inverted functions of NAND, NOR, and NEXOR. While these are new terms, just think of them as the opposite or inverse of the AND, OR, and XOR functions. Let's see those values on the truth table. As you can see, the AND and NAND columns are related because in every instance where AND is high, NAND is low. So accordingly, if AND is low, then NAND is high. The same applies for the OR and NOR columns. And finally, the XOR and NEXOR columns. So with that information, I think you have quite a bit to digest. I'll conclude this episode of Raoul's World of Sense. Please stay tuned for the next episode where we will hear a few examples of the types of sounds and rhythms that can be created with the DOFR A166 logic module. Thanks for watching.